Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. So in this video lecture, we shall see an example on the instantaneous center that is, we'll take up a complex mechanism and determine the velocity of the desired links using the instantaneous center method. So this will be a combination of different mechanisms. So you can say it is a compound mechanism. So this is going to be the part two of the video lecture on the examples on instantaneous center. So friends, please stay tuned with this video lecture. Before we begin with the lecture, I request you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, click the bell icon for the latest notification on the videos on this channel. Also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with the video lecture. So here we take an example of a mechanism of wrapping machine as you can see in this figure here. So this is the wrapping machines and here we have the links and these are the sketches of those links. So this point will be O1. So we have O1A then this link completely will be AC with point B here and point C here. This will be point O3 then this will be point D. So BD this will be link BD. So here we will have this point as O2. So this two points will be common points that is a D and this will be a bell crank over here. So this point will be E. So in this problem, what all are the given data is that the link lengths are given. So totally we have the six lengths that is O1A is given as 100 mm. A2C is given as 200 mm. BC is given as 200 mm. Then O3C that is this link is given as 200 mm. Then O2E this part of the bell crank is given as 400 mm. Then O2D so this part again of the bell crank is given as 200 mm. And the BD this link is given as 150 mm. Now here though the dimensions are 7 in number if you see this bell crank EO2D together is considered as one link that is O2E and O2D together will be a single link. So we consider this as the six link mechanism. So we need to find the velocity of the point E of the bell crank lever by the instantaneous center method. So friends, let us see how to solve about with this problem. So here first thing we need to determine is the number of instantaneous centers in any given mechanism. So the number of links as we have seen here they are 6 in number so substitute 6 over here in place of small n in this equation so we get the total number of instantaneous centers as 15. Then we have this sketch and we locate all these instantaneous centers over here. Then there are some important measurements which are required for us to solve this problem and those are I13A that is from this instantaneous center to this point A. Next is I13B that is from this instantaneous center to point B. Next is I15B that is from this point of the instantaneous center to B we measure and I15D that is this small length we measure over here. Then I16D so we have 16 over here so I16D that is this particular link length uh, the distance we measure here and I16E that is over here this distance we measure. So upon measuring we get all these distance in mm and that we convert it into meter for the simplification of our problem. So now let us see the different simplification processes that is determining the velocity of this bell crank lever at point E using instantaneous center method. So we have already calculated the instantaneous center methods and also we have measured those relevant distances from the points and instantaneous centers. Now we shall locate some notifications here notations that is VE be the velocity of point E on the bell crank lever VB be the velocity of this point B and VD be the velocity of this point D. So now we have the equation considering this I13 that is VA upon I13A will be equal to VB upon I13B that is velocity at point A will be equal to that is ratio of velocity at point A upon the distance I13A will be equal to the ratio of velocity at point B upon the I13B. So with this we get this VB that is we just rearrange these 
uh, in this formula and we get this Vb upon simplification 9.01 meters per second. That is the velocity of point B on this link AC is now determined. Next, considering I15 that is this instantaneous center, we have Vb upon I15B that is Vb upon I15B will be equal to Vd upon I15D. Okay. So with that, we can calculate the velocity of point D over here, which comes as 3.46 meters per second. Lastly, we have the instantaneous center I16, that is this particular instantaneous center. So with this, we have the equation Vd upon I16D will be equal to Ve upon I16E. So we have already calculated Vd. So using that value of Vd, we rearrange these terms in this equation and ultimately we get VE as 6.92 meters per second. So friends, that is what is asked in this problem statement. We need to determine the velocity of the bell crank lever at this point E and that we have determined as 6.92 meters per second. So friends, that's all for today in this lecture. So with this lecture we have completed the examples on determining the velocity using instantaneous centers method. So we had part 1 and part 2 video lectures. So if you have not seen the part 1 video lecture, you can refer to the video which will appear on the top right corner as the YouTube iCard for the part 1 of this video lecture. So friends, thank you very much. So before we end this lecture, I request you to please subscribe this channel click the bell icon follow us on twitter instagram and facebook the links are in the description below thank you very much